What is up, everybody? Here's Mars. Welcome back to another episode where this time it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to be comparing and reviewing two mice. The G Pro Super Lite and the Model O Wireless. It's a big difference in price. You've got one that's 80 bucks and you've got one that's 140. I've been using the Model O Wired for a lot of years, ever since I started. That was a mouse of choice for me, and I loved it, and I wanted to upgrade because my setup is white, and I needed a white one, and I went for the wireless upgrade. Great. Fucking love it. Problem is, the little dongle, when I put it on the back, I'm just getting right to it, by the way little dongle when I put it on the back of my computer uh, makes it stuttery so the mouse will be stuttery as I'm moving it and uh, that was annoying I, I looked up on YouTube apparently it's very common with these mice so I was like okay so the wired is good the wireless is kind of sucks I have to have the dongle attached to the USB this is a spoiler alert by the way the dongle attached to the cable about a foot away from the mice for this to work properly. I think what's the point of a wireless mice if you gotta have the cable a foot away from it? Like yeah, there's no cable that I'm gonna jump on top of, there's no extra weight from that. But if I wanna take my mouse over to my bed, I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of input lag, what the fuck? So, I thought, okay, if it's a common issue with this guy, I'm going to try out some new options. I decided to just go straight for the for the top, the big G, the top G of the mouse industry right now. Used by 70% of pro players, apparently. The G Pro Super Lite. Obviously in white. And let's go over a couple issues first. Where should I start? I'm going to start with the coding. They're both about the same about the same white. Like the G Pro Super Light is maybe slightly uh, more light in color. They're both matte white. They're cool. I think I I think the Model O looks better, a lot better than the G Pro Super Light. But that's preference personal preference it depends on you guys i also gotta say the coating itself on the model o it feels great love it but the moment i picked this up i could immediately feel that it felt horrible <laughs> you guys maybe think i was gonna say good but no the coating on the super light actually feels as if it was made out of cheaper plastic than the Model O. But it's just the coating. I don't think it's the actual plastic that they're using. Yes, it is lighter than the Model O by a little bit. I haven't weighed them. I'm just going based off feel. Feels lighter. The shape, yes, it is definitely better than the Model O. Not by a huge margin. After all, they're both ambidextric, ambidextrous mice. They're symmetrical. They're about the same, almost the same dimensions from looking at them. But it is better in shape. It just doesn't look that nice. Um, what next? Oh yeah, there's no RGB on the Super Light. There is on the Model O. Maybe that's where the extra weight came in. Click feel. Model O. I don't know if you can hear it very well. Now side buttons. Now scroll wheel. You can't hear that, it's not coming up on... Okay, now scroll wheel click. It's barely coming up on the OBS, but I hope you guys heard something. Now for the G Pro. Side buttons. Scroll wheel. 
We can actually heal hear the scroll wheel now. You can't hear the scroll wheel click on either of them. I think personally, and it might depend on you guys, the Model O has much nicer click feel than the G Pro Wireless. It doesn't feel bad. It feels really good. I just like the sound from the Model O more. It's like higher pitched. I like it more. If you hold it up, it sounds worse, by the way. It sounds like you're clicking just... You're clicking plastic. That's all it sounds like when you're holding it up. It sounds slightly better when it's down, but still like that. This, regardless of where it is, it sounds like you're actually clicking a switch. I like that. Now, let's get to the main issue. Yeah, the scroll wheel on this feels way worse than the one on the Model O. Let's get to the main issue. You remember that problem I told you about this and uh, having to have the dongle plugged into the wire? Well, look at what dongle I have plugged into the wire right now. It's not going to show. Logitech's. Because it has the same issue. If I put it on the back of my computer, it's going to fuck up too. So I have to have it about a foot away from my from my mouse. Same issue. So right now, you, know, I gotta choose between more expensive, more known, more widely used, slightly better shaped mouse, or the mouse that looks nice and feels better. Um, just feel wise, like this. That's cheaper. I believe the Model O has better battery, just by a little bit. 72 hours versus 71 hours. I like them both. I like them both. Differently, but I like them both. Um, I've had... I, I haven't tried this one that much. I had it for about a week while I was waiting for this one. But I've been using Model O wired for years. I know what this feels like. Maybe slightly... This might be a little bit more uh, heavy. So I'm going to give this a couple more days playing with it. Valorant, League, whatever I play. See if it feels better than the Model O. I'm probably going to interchange between the two. Um, oh yeah, it's micro USB. I don't like that. I'd rather it be USB Type-C. But I'm most reviews already came out saying that. I've seen a lot of reviews when I was getting this one. About how good it is and all that. But I didn't see any of them doing this much of a personal comparison between these two mice specifically. The pr if the price, if I didn't know the price, I would think they're about the same. I might even say that this one is cheaper. Because it, the plastic feels cheaper because of the coating. The clicks don't sound as good. The only thing it's got going for it from knowledge, the sensor, and obviously the input lag, and the shape. It's the only thing that I see going for it. This one, it feels premium. Sounds premium, looks premium, and has RGB. But, if I'm not mistaken, worse sensor from Glorious. It is a very good sensor, but technically worse than this one. I bet, because it's a worse sensor, more input lag, not by much. And the, the the shape is just slightly worse, but not that bad at all. It's pretty good shape. I love the shape. I'm a claw grip user, and I keep my index finger semi-straight, so grabbing it like this with a straight finger. I don't know if you can see it. Nine minutes. That's basically the comparison I wanted to make. I don't think I missed any points I wanted to say. Oh yeah, you've got this in the back so that you can actually buy a wireless adapt adapter thingy. 
kind of like a racer mouse where you put it on and it charges so you don't have to plug in the wire i find that cool if i keep this i'm probably gonna buy that um also why are these guys gray all the videos i've seen on youtube have the the slide things are white so is this a different material because i'm pretty sure i bought the best one so if you see this let me know why these are gray instead of white compared to the other youtube videos i've seen lighting doesn't make a difference and i hope you guys enjoyed make of this information what you will i know that it came out about a year or so ago and same for this they're old but that's my input on it have a good day.